Hello. How's it going? <laughs> um, you, you've just heard Adam call me Carol then, and I'll just explain what that means. Uh, when we were on the stag do, we arrived in Benidorm, and the, uh, the sign that was being hung up said Carol Ickinson instead of Carl Dickinson, which is my name. <laughs> <coughs> so I've now, I've now gained the nickname Carol, which not too fussed about. But uh, yeah, I'm glad to see, well, talking about Benidorm, actually, Glad to see Adams, uh, well, he, he, partake, he was partaking in a little bit of cross-dressing when we were in Benidorm. <laughs> so when we turned up today, I was glad to see he's copied my outfit rather than Sophie's, first of all. That was, that was the first thing I wanted to say. Uh, thank you to Adam for, for this honour um, of being the best man. Uh, it really is a pleasure to be here. Uh, and I'm reading that out, but it genuinely is. That's, <laughs> I, I wrote that before. before. So, kind-hearted, practical, caring, handsome, intelligent, funny, and modest. These are all ways people describe me, but also Adam's, Adam shares a lot of these traits as well, um, which, which is why we got on so well, I think. We, we're quite sim similar in many ways, so. Um, like I say, we, we met nearly a decade ago, and I remember Becky and Sophie set us up on a bit of a, uh, bit of a mandate, which was a bit weird, um, but so I remember Sophie coming around and saying that, um, Oh, you'll, you'll get on with my boyfriend. He's, he's, he's really outdoorsy like you, and blah blah blah. And he's like, this, this, this is odd. But then we, we had a uh, we had a bit of a, a get together at our, at our flat at the time, and we were playing this drinking game. I remember, and, and Adam's answers was his answer was always yeah. He kept saying Paris Hilton for every answer, which I think his his logic was I think eventually the answer will be Paris Hilton, but it never was, and he kept losing. And shortly after that, he was. Uh, projectile vomiting in our back garden <laughs> so I, and I, I think at that moment I realized that Sophie was right I, I probably will like this guy this, <laughs> my sort of, my sort of fella so um, anyway that was that um, I've seen good times and, and great times uh, of this happy relationship so far I think and not so many bad ones that I can recall uh, and if there's one thing that is an absolute constant it's Adam's love for fishing, um, which, <laughs> which just presides, yeah, whatever happens really. Um, I think it's just a way for him to, to get out of, out of the house and spend a night on the riverbank away from, away from Sophie's moaning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, one thing that keeps us such good friends is our mutual interests we have for, uh, yeah, sorry, our mutual interests and the fact that we go through um, like phases of, of different, different things. That, yeah, over the years, it's been, well, one phase I remember early, in the early days was the gym, which I mentioned to Adam before, which probably knows what I'm going to say now, but uh, we had to stop going to the gym because the extra protein in Adam's diet didn't really agree with his, with his guts and, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I think we were pretty much banned from Dave's power room for, uh, for a while, but um, yeah, so uh, when we went through a phase of photography and we spent hundreds of pounds on cameras we never used. That was ridiculous. Uh, mountain biking, we went from the, the, the north to the south of the island of Man together. That was a good adventure. There's no joke about that. It was just bloody good. Um, but yeah, all the equipment that we, that we, that we get through these, through these um, activities ends up gathering dust um, at the end of the day and we, we move on to the next thing. Um, yeah, we're always looking for the next hobby and recently we went uh, whitewater rafting uh, me, myself, Mike, Lara was there, and, and uh, Mike's mum as well, and we, we all went whitewater rafting. And ever since then, we've been looking at um, pricing up canoes, the three of us. And, but I don't want to say too much about that because I don't think Adam's discussed uh, storing the canoe uh, in Kev's garage yet. <laughs> <coughs> so, I don't know. Tom, Tom's only just got rid of his speedboat off the drive, so, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll skim over that. But. Traditionally, a best man speech is just for the groom but Sophie's my mate as well and she yeah she's probably a bit, a bit worried about what I'm going to say next now but um yeah Sophie was maybe dreading me talking about her as well as Adam um you'll notice that the, ta that the tables uh, are named after flowers today but you won't notice a table um called uh, dandelion and the reason for that is Sophie's got a bit of and she's had a bit of a traumatic experience with, with a dandelion uh, not so many months ago. She's probably forgotten it. But um, <laughs> we were at a zoo. Uh, we were at a zoo and I reached, <laughs> I reached through to feed a dandelion head to a, uh, to a gibbon. 
Uh, and it, it snatched the dandelion off me and ate the flower and he was, he was very grateful. Sophie saw this and thought, oh, I really want to go on, I want to feed the gibbon. And uh, she got a dandelion, reached over, touched the dandelion on the, on the electric fence <laughs> and let out a, a massive sh shriek and uh, yeah, jumped back. And I think the, the, uh, the keepers were, were running over at the time to uh, thinking there's a wild anim animal on the loose, but it was just Sophie's reaction to the, to the electric fence. And um, well, the funny thing about that was uh, both myself and the gibbon knew about the electric fence and were clever enough to avoid it. <laughs> Sophie wasn't, so anyway. Um, in, <laughs> in thinking about what to say during this speech, it made me reflect on the last few years, uh, or the last decade really, and, and made me realize that Adam and Sophie uh, and Becky and myself uh, as two couples have grown up and spent the best part of our 20s together, sharing experiences and helping each other through thick and thin. I just want to say thank you to you guys. It's, it's been a blast so far and long may it continue. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's, that's the nice bit I wanted to say. Uh, anyway, uh, how many minutes are we on? Because I've got, uh, <laughs> winding up now. So anyway, um, it's, it's an absolute pleasure and honor to be here and share this day with you both. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for coming along today. I hope you're enjoying yourselves so far and I hope that enjoyment continues well into the night. Um, so could you all please raise a glass to the fabulous Mr. and Mrs. Pickering, when, hang on a sec, which I will do. You have to say when it's stopped. It's not stopped yet. So yeah, could you just have, raise a glass to, to everyone? And that, that's one thing, get my phone out for me, Becky, pass it here. Pass it here. Uh, before I go, I just wanted to, while you're all stood up, um, can I please just ask everyone to um, clap after three? Everyone just give us a round of applause for the, for the couple after three, but the reason why I do this is because I want to pretend I got a, a standing ovation for my speech. So, <laughs> if we can clap after three, three, two, one, yay! <laughs> and thank you, that's it, that's it.